Welcome back to Crawfordsville, Indiana on the campus of Wabash College where we are getting set to kick off the 125th Monon Bell Classic. Third and eight now coming up from the 21 on the first possession of the game. Reed from the gun, back to pass, throwing deep over the middle of the field. He's got a man, it's caught in stride by Ryan Thomas, and he's going to go the distance. Wabash on the board first with a big play on third and eight to take a 6-0 lead in the Bell game. And there we go in the third play of the game, a big play. And you're right, Brad, uh, the safety was right there ready to make the play. I didn't see anything happening with it when the ball was in the air and then just under underran the ball and delayed right in Thomas's hands. Nice plays defensively. Wabash looked kind of a little confused on offense. Not, not something we thought we'd see them go deep first play, and then third and long, and just a breakdown there between the safety and the corner. And that's a that's a backbreaker for DePaul early. But like you said, Kevin, it's only 52 seconds in, so a lot of game left. Play the game down. And now a fumble by Andrews, and it's picked up, and Wabash is running with it with daylight in front all the way for a touchdown. Bishop Rhodes picks up the Andrews fumble and takes it to the house. And Wabash is now in front, 13 zip. Rhodes on the run to scoop it and take it the distance. Right, neither offense doing a, a lot between the big play by Wabash and then the turnover by DePaul. And that, there's your score right there. And Bishop Rhodes, a senior, making that run. Here, Austin Nightingale, a former quarterback, playing defensive back now. Snap is down, kick is up from 25 yards. Skyler Narrick is good. Reed from the gun on first down, fakes the handoff, looking over the middle. He's got a man, it's caught by Rashawn Jones. Now he goes to work inside the 10, spinning down to the seven yard line. First down, Wabash, first in goal for the Little Giants. Jake Reed with Avant now in motion. Reed rolling to his right all the way back to his 23 yard line. Finds a man wide open in the end zone and it's the tight end Ivan Martinez. Only two catches all season. Wide open for the Wabash touchdown. With a big finish to the first half with 12 seconds. Let's watch this one again, Jake Reed had retreated all the way back to about his 25 yard line. And Martinez just kind of you know, went in like he was gonna block, delayed, waited, great job by him to wait to the last second before floating out the flat. With, and by the way, four of the five losses for DePaul, they've been within a tying score in the final possession. Andrews in trouble, tries to break free, and he cannot elude the rusher, and he's gonna go down. Up two scores, Wabash is okay to see that clock run right now. Avan nowhere to the left, straight up the middle, finds something, and it's a first down and more. Pep will eventually stand him up, but Avan made something happen that time. A few more yards in the first down. Over a thousand yards on the season for Isaac Avant. And he'll get it again here, trying to cut to the outside, makes a man miss down the left sideline, cuts it back in, another first down for Avan who is starting to gather some momentum inside DePaul territory. Field from their own 48, Avant again, and he will break free with some daylight into the secondary, and it's gonna take four or five white, gold, and black shirts to wrap him up. It's another first down for Wabash. Just rushed the front four there. DePaul has to convert to keep their hopes alive. Andrews being chased, rolling to the right. He's in trouble, and he is out of bounds, or did he scoop it inbounds? Either way, they're gonna lose possession. If he stayed in bounds, it's an interception. Never looked like he felt really comfortable where he was trying to go and quickly ran out of bounds, or ran out of room on the sideline. Yeah, and give credit to the front four there, uh, pushing him out of the pocket. And he did get stretched out a little bit. He may get a little antsy feet, but at that point right there, Brad, is I think what you were, you were referencing. You just got to throw it up somewhere. For the final time, Jake Reed takes a knee. He will not need to take another snap for the ninth time in the last 10 years. The Wabash Little Giants have won the Monon Bell Classic. The 2018 version, a final. Wabash 24, DePaul 17. And the home fans can enjoy some sunshine on an otherwise very cold day in Crawfordsville.